welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel this is keeping the faith with lucy and today i would like to ask you a simple question what would you rate your faith from one to ten now for your answer you will give me your answers in the comment comment section down below so i would get to see what you said now pertaining to your faith now today's word uh, it comes from James chapter 2 verses 18 to 26 this lesson really ministered to me so I hope that it ministers to you also without further ado get out your Bibles get out your notepad make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so let's begin today's lesson and it reads but someone will say you have faith and I have works show me your faith apart from your works and I will show you my faith by my works now this verse tells us that some people will want to divide the two divide the two which is your faith and your works your faith is whereby you have it in you but you're not you're not giving it that effort to push it forward to make it to become works right you have an idea and you're thinking about it but you're not you're not pushing enough to have this idea come to pass in verse 19 it says you believe that God is one you do well even the demons believe and shudder now this verse tells us that many people have this type of faith now even the demons have this belief and a proper faith will accept the lord jesus as our lord and savior right so some people may believe that there's only there's there's a god that they just believe that there's a god and the bible tells us that even the demons believe this so that type of faith is not good because the, even the demons believe that right now it instructs us that a proper faith will accept the Lord, Lord and Savior right and in verse 20 it reads and says do you want to be shown you foolish person that faith apart from works is useless now this simply says that James James says here in this verse that anyone who trusts in an empty faith has an effect of an empty head right so this faith is so empty that it's useless right you have no faith faith apart from works is dead right so in verse 21 right james chapter 2 verse 21 it reads that was not Abraham our father justified by his works when he offered up his son Isaac on the altar? Now, this simply says that any faith that doesn't have the cross as its proper object is dead faith. Now, the Holy Spirit had given James to choose this particular example of Abraham's, Abraham's offering of his son Isaac to portray one of the most vivid illustrations of sacrifice of Christ now in terms of this lesson about Abraham this story about Abraham right he had to activate his faith right there because he had to offer up his son as a sacrifice, right? And he had to exercise his faith there to show God that here what? No matter what, I will offer up the sacrifice. God must come true for me. And he had that mentality that here what? No matter what the Lord tells me to do, no matter what consequences, consequences I face in this, I will do it no matter what. No matter what comes my way, I will do it. I will exercise my faith. I will go one step forward. Now it continues to say, you see that faith was active along with his works, right? His faith was active. 
he not just he not just relax and say he works but I told me to give my son a sacrifice why don't do it I don't know and he, he, he wasn't just sitting there uh, procrastinating about about this this uh, revelation that he got but he actually give works right his faith and his works came together and it completed his works right the Bible says that you see that faith was active along with his works along with his works and faith was completed by his works and it continued to read in verse 23 and it says that and the scripture was fulfilled that says that Abraham believed God even though he didn't see it yet he still believed right Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness and he was called a friend of God yes Abraham was called a friend of God because he believed God and he was called a friend of God and in verse 24 thank you in verse 24 it says you see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone so sometimes in this verse it's trying to say that not all the time like you will have your faith locked up right God needs God need your works also so you're there and you have that idea God like he says that faith as small as a mustard seed could move mountains right so your faith isn't locked up you have to let it go you have to start moving by faith and also show your works right you cannot have faith and lock it up you have to have both faith cannot work without works and works cannot work without faith so in order to have your works you must have faith right and it says in verse 25 and in the same way was not also Rahab the prostitute justified by works when she was received the messengers messengers and sent them out by another way right and in verse 26 it says for as the body apart from the spirit is dead so also faith apart from works is dead now this verse is trying to say in verse 26 let me read it again for as the body apart from the spirit is dead so also faith apart from works is dead now when it says that it means that you know when somebody dies right their spirit is separated from their body right the spirit go to eternity whether it's hell or heaven and their bodies stay to be buried on the, the ground right so it also speaks about faith and works it says again that so also faith apart from works is dead so as the body apart from the spirit is dead so it's trying to say if we have faith here and works here without the two coming together it is dead right uh, if someone has faith right faith as a mustard seed people may have so much faith in them like faith to do something faith to start a business and the idea is there the Lord already told you about this idea you wrote it down and you're just waiting but you your waiting season you allow it to pass because you procrastinate too much the Lord is telling you to start with what you have and you're looking at you don't have so much necessities you don't have so many equipments to start and God is telling you to start with what you have that is called faith moving by faith knowing that you don't have the correct stuff like for me when I first started my degree uh, at the University of Guyana I didn't have the correct 
well, most of the stuff that I needed, like a laptop. Right? I did have a laptop that I had from uh, one of the suppliers in uh, Guyana. I won't call their name, but the laptop wasn't working so good. I bought it on high purchase and so on, and I was paying down on it. And someone, <laughs> this story is so crazy. Like at my church, right? I usually communicate with young women and so on, young teenagers. Well, one of them needed a laptop, and I. She told me she came up to me and said, "There was a Christmas time." She came up to me and said, "Miss, um, I really need a laptop for, for school and so on. I'm going in secondary school and." Well, in Guyana, we call it secondary in the Caribbean, but in America and so on, you call it high school. So, she's telling me that she needs a laptop. And I was like, okay, no problem. I will try to get one for you. And as I went home, uh, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and said, hey, what? This laptop that you have here that you're not using and it's currently being paid for by yourself, you need to go and fix this laptop for this child, right? I was like, Holy Spirit, but all the time, these people, like, I was like back and forth in terms of fixing it because there was a problem with the keyboard and they had me up and down fixing it and so on. And sometimes the letters, some of the letters won't work and all of these type of situations. And the Spirit of the Lord says, hear what? go one more time <laughs> one more time and tell them you need this laptop fix for this particular beat right this is all surrounding with my UG I didn't even know that I was going to be a part of college right I was just moving by faith and I went to them and I said hey what I need this laptop fix for someone I need to give them this laptop for their uh, Christmas for them to start off in a new school tour, right? Uh, so they, they said to me, okay, um, we'll fix it and so on. You can come back at this date and so on. So I did um, go back to them and so on and uh, went to uplift the laptop again. And they were like, okay, uh, we uh, replaced a new we place the laptop with a, we take out the old keyboard and we place the new one which they didn't do that for me they didn't do that for me all the time right so they took out the old keyboard and they placed a new keyboard there right and the screen everything was new brand so this person this girl she got a new laptop you could see right so I went to her and I was like X like I'm not gonna call her name so I'm just gonna say X you know what this is my gift to you for Christmas have a great Christmas and I wrapped it up and so on and I just presented presented it to her wonderful and beautiful and everything and she was like oh my god miss I didn't know and the other girls was like miss I want a laptop too and they were like begging me to have one for them too get one for them and I was like Man, next time man next day and this time now I don't even know that I would be a part of college um, the next year so I'm there now and already give the laptop I'm like god you're gonna give up your own laptop I was like, okay the Lord will provide again I don't really need a laptop anyways then pops I end up Go and, go and sign up for UG University of Guyana and didn't even know actually that I never had a laptop I never realized I was like God I can be doing all my work on my phone on my smartphone it was like okay it's just for the meanwhile I was like meanwhile you got something up your sleeve and I started to work for my smartphone doing everything on my smartphone it didn't quite go well as I planned it to but we're moving by faith and I started to do my assignments do my stuff this and I didn't even know nobody really and like I didn't want to ask anybody for anything so I just 
go with what he swears a lot. So what we do, right? <coughs> then Bob's now um, my my dance leader. Then my dance um, teacher, which is my spiritual mother, she and her family were moving to um, USA. And she placed um, one of the new dance teacher there to instruct us and have us as our spiritual mother now. So she is our next spiritual mother. So now um, I'm there and I was like, I, tell, I was trying to tell her that okay, I'm not doing so well at college. I was like in my course year and I was like working so hard and nothing was like paying off and I told her, I said, she asked me if I had a laptop. I said no, I didn't have a laptop. I was like, okay, alright, I see you doing something and she was like, okay, no problem, I would help you and so on in terms of your work, help you study and so on because I had no faith. I had the little mustard seed faith that I had there and I was like managing with that faith, right? And uh, yes. So guys, so um, she did me a favor and she was like, okay, um, what's when? Yeah, I think it was a uh, 2023 in July August time, she went overseas. But before she went, right, she promised me that she would have got a laptop for me. I was like. Nobody has never done that for me, and I was like, God, I was trying, like, I'll be real, I was doubting, because nobody has never done something like that for me, and then she went overseas, and then when she came back, um, we were going to church the Friday, and she offered to pick me up from work, right, and when she picked me up, um, we had to walk to the car and so on. And as I was approaching the car and I entered, she just handed me a said, look, this is yours. <laughs> this is yours. I'm like, what is this? And I opened the bag. This is the bag. We will have that bag. I opened the bag only to see a brand new laptop. HP laptop. <laughs> Look, this is the bag, guys. Like, I didn't bring the laptop today, but I promise I will show you in the next video. But this is just to show you that faith. This is just to show you that when you exercise your faith and you reach God with your faith, God will come true for you. No matter how small is your faith, even as small as a mustard seed, right? God is willing to work from there with your faith. So I want to encourage you today to exercise your faith. Exercise your faith in Christ Jesus. I promise He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will not let you down. He will be with you till the end. So, with that question that I asked you from the start of the video, what would you rate your faith from 1 to 10? Now, leave it in the comment section down below and comment what you have learned from this whole lesson, right? Comment what you have learned and I pray that this word blesses you and this word encourages you to no matter what is your situation, no matter how bad your situation may look, there is still hope, there is still faith in God, right? Keep your faith active. Keep your faith active in Christ Jesus because He can work for you, right? So with that, I will just like to close off and tell you to have a great day and no matter what you face, keep going and remember to always keep your faith active and faith without works is dead so keep your faith active keep your works active and bring them together and have a great day guys love you